API Unified Payment Interface Content Outline or Synopsis This series is about to create awareness about UPI that is Unified Payments Interface Unified Payments Interface UPI is an instant real-time payment system developed by National Payments Corporation of India NPCI facilitating interbank peer to peer P2P and person to merchant that is P2M transactions friends in this e-payment awareness series we will discuss about unified payments interface known as UPI you might have heard about the bheem app google pay paytm and phone pay they all have upi payment system all these mobile apps have one thing in common that is upi what is upi i will tell you unified payment interface or upi is an instant real time payment system developed by national payments corporation of india npci facilitating interbank peer to peer p2p and person to merchant p2m transactions now you tell me when was upi launched sure keeping in view an instant real time payment system for peer to peer and person to merchant transactions npci conducted a pilot launch with 21 member banks the pilot launch was on 11th april 2016 by dr raghuram g rajan governor rbi at mumbai banks have started to upload their upi enabled apps on the google play store from 25th august 2016 onwards and who regulates npci NPCI is regulated by RBI or Reserve Bank of India. And do you know under UPI money directly gets transferred from one bank account to another under a real time money transfer system? It is a platform through which cashless payments take place. Now, what are the advantages of UPI? Let me tell you some of the advantages of UPI are one instant money transfer UPI is also very fast and a safe medium while you only need a UPI ID for carrying out a transaction two money can be transferred directly via phone number if it is linked to a bank account three account number an ifsc code are required to make a transaction directly for all types of payments you can do peer to peer payments five you can pay any type of utility bills such as water electricity or telephone bills six any merchant payment can be done seven no transaction charges While making payments on UPI, the user does not have to pay any charges as it is free by the government. How UPI can be used? Let me tell you. For that, firstly we have to install the app of any bank or Bheem app, which is government owned app from Google Play Store or any other app store, irrespective of the fact whether you have a bank account in that particular bank or not once the app is installed it automatically registers your phone by sending an otp and the next step is that we have to create our password for bheem app or any bank upi app this password or passcode will be required every time we open the upi app One important thing to note here is that 
mobile number on which you have installed this app should be the same registered mobile number with your bank account. Next step is to create your new virtual address which will be like your new identity on UPI and this address will be unique to every user. Friends, on the Bheem app it will end with at the rate UPI like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0 at the rate UPI or name at the rate UPI. Or other banks, it will end with bank abbreviated suffix allotted by NPCI. For example, in the case of PNB UPI app, it will be 12345678900 at the rate PNB. This virtual ID or address can be shared with the person from whom we want to receive money. Well, the next step is to add a bank account which will then open a screen with a drop-down menu of all the bank names. Once you select the bank name where you have the account, mobile will detect your account registered with that bank and ask to set a UPI PIN which will be used for making transactions. Debit card detail is required to set your UPI PIN. Always remember UPI PIN and never share with anyone. But do you know how do transactions take place? Yes, now we will learn about how to send money. Click on the send money tab on your UPI app and then enter the virtual ID of Mr. X to whom you want to send money. When we want to send money, enter the amount and click Submit button. It will take you to the NPCI page where we have to enter UPI PIN and the amount will be transferred immediately to Mr. X. Instead of the virtual ID, your account number and IFSC code can also be used. Now let's know how to pay to any merchant. Payment can be made to the merchant through mobile number or virtual ID or simply scanning the UPI QR code. Friends, in this series we learnt about UPI that is Unified Payments Interface and benefits of UPI such as 24-7 instant money transfer, merchant payments etc. We also learnt about installation and transaction process of the UPI system. But in the next session, we shall meet with another interesting topic. Thank you.